Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Chris Bariomunsi, has reassured Ugandans that the rationalization of UCDA will not negatively affect the coffee subsector despite existing public concerns. This is the view that UCDA should be rationalized and the assurance we want to give Ugandans that contrary to the barrage of falsehoods and propaganda that has been meted out into the public. Rationalizing UCDA does not in any way negatively affect the coffee subsector. Parliament shall be sitting tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the morning to consider a number of bills and the, I've seen the order paper, the bills to do with rationalization. And of course, the rationalization of UCDA is among the, the bills that will be tackled by Parliament. Cabinet also discussed the alignment of the advanced secondary level curriculum with the ordinary level curriculum. Now, the curriculum for A level has not yet been changed. And uh, actually since the introduction of the new curriculum for all level, I think the first court of students are sitting their exams this year. And uh, the new curriculum uh, is a major shift from the way most of you were taught where the teaching is class-based, teacher-based, examination-based, and there has been a change in focus where you assess the learner progressively through the four years of all level, and also the method of instruction is more to do with the practicals and the experience. The upcoming COP29 in Azerbaijan and World AIDS Day were also discussed with this year's World AIDS Day to be celebrated in Buyende district. I am Marion Awori and Joel Vubia for UBC.